So we're going to see what rice is about and when you eat rice what the real meaning of that is. In this bowl here I've put 200 grams of rice. 200 grams. This is about what a person might eat in a day or so, maybe two days. 800 calories approximately. 800 calories of rice. Like 200 grams. This is the equivalent amount of sugar you're eating when you eat this much rice each day. This is what you're flooding your liver with when you eat this much rice each day. The consequence of flooding your liver with this much sugar means you're going to turn a good bit of the sugar into fatty acids and a good bit of it is going to overflow into your system, your blood, and propagate through your blood binding to glucose, binding the glucose molecules to proteins and fats throughout your system. This is called glycation. You create triglycerides and you cause glycation when you eat this much rice, which is this much sugar. Now, let's look at the bread issue. A loaf of whole wheat bread looks great, but when I look at the label, I'm able to ascertain immediately the complications of this food. 100 calories per serving. Well, 100 calories and it's got 19 grams of carbohydrate at 4 calories per gram. That's about 76 calories out of the 100 are from carbohydrate. How much of that's fiber? Hmm, 3 grams. That's not so good. You're flooding your system with glucose when you eat whole wheat bread. Who would have thought? I think I've made my point. We're born in a culture where we're told what's right to eat. We've embraced starches because they make us feel alert, awake from all this glucose charging into our system and feeding our brain. But ultimately, they result in diabetes and heart disease, causing stroke, causing complications with heart attacks, and the suffering that comes from both. And all it takes is setting our mind at a better way of existing, of toning this out and integrating soluble fiber in our diet and eliminating the starch and sugar. Goodbye, I'm Dr. Lawrence Otto.